Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to focus on what is this smart meters and what is the status of smart meter installation in AP and how to recharge those smart meters and what are the doubts regarding how to have the billing and how to make it how to, how to make the recharge and we'll see some clarification also here. So as per the central government advice, SPDCLs is going to set up smart meters where the smart meters are called prepaid meters and this is taken care and with the type of Adani smart meters and this Adani smart meters itself will take care about the installation process and this installation is done freely. So you no need to pay not even one rupee from your pocket. So it is free of installation and maintenance is also taken care by the Adani group. Okay, and this will be done within this year. So first phase has been completed in March 2025. Let's try to see which SPDSL and how many meters has been allotted and what is the status. Okay, first coming to here, our distribution corporation of AP has been distributed into these sectors. So first one is AP SPDCL, which includes for Nellur people, Anthapur district, Karnul district, Kadapa and Chittur. So here 6.19 lakh single phase smart meters has been distributed and they are in the process of erection and 2.56 lakhs three phase meters are in the process of erection. So this is the status in AP SPD cell in these uh, districts. So coming to the second uh, distribution corporation which is called Andhra Pradesh Central Power Distribution Corporation Limited which includes the main uh, capital Guntur, Bapatla, Palnadu, Krishna, NTR and Prakasham districts around 7.23 lakhs single phase smart meters and 1.9 lakh three phase smart meters are issued and they are in the process of installation. Okay, so the first phase the government is focusing first the installation has to be done for shops. Okay, so first for commercial shops and second one they are focusing on state government office okay so government all government office already completed the installation and all commercial shops has already completed the installation so now we are running with the third phase so where here the third phase is focused on installing the meters to the home so this is how a smart meter looks generally to be here so this is the basically you can see here so this is how we collect the data this is basically our energy meter how it resembles like you have this is the input and this nothing but the load Y. So here you have service one, service two, here we have load one, load two, and this connection will be taken care by the department. And this is nothing but uh, the GSM module based data transmission. So here we have an SIM card inside which consists of an IMB number through this only the data gets transmitted. Okay, and here to have to rectify the problems. Or update the software here we have an uh, sim here we have an sim card connected to the internet and we have a slot also is provided which is useful to update the data okay so this is all about uh, uh, to update the data of the customer also so like this eastern power distribution corporation on the pradesh which includes the districts of srikakulam sitaram raju and vijayanagaram and visakhapatnam and uh, Manyam and Anakapalli, Kakinada, East Godavari, Konasima, Eluru and West Godavari. So here already 6 lakhs single phase energy meters is already installed and 1.5 three phase energy meters are also installed. All these are I am saying about the domestic. Already state government has installed all the smart meters in government sector and all commercial shops. Okay, Now this is the status of Andhra Pradesh how the smart meters are available in Andhra Pradesh. Okay. And now let's try to see how to recharge these meters and what are the problems in there in recharging. So this is called the recharging technique or how to recharge the meter. So they provide an app. The app may be provided by your distribution corporation depending upon the location. For example, you are located in Melur, then you will be, an app will be provided by APSPDCL. So if you are CPDP SPDCL, an app will be provided by this distribution corporation and the app seems to be like this. Okay, So you have a complete interface. So how many units are there and what is your 
consumption in the previous month and how much the balance is left. So this like uh, that's why the government has framed out some standard operating procedure. In the standard operating procedure, the customer is given an option to select his uh, tariff plan. Okay, what are the tariff plan you want to select based on his average consumption? If you don't know this, or directly you can directly do a recharge. Okay, actually this SPDCL or EPDCL will provide it an a basic recharge coupon. Let us try to say here we have been selected a thousand rupees recharge coupon which comes with an additional of 300 credit limit. So they will going to give us some credit. So this 300 rupees we can use further whenever this 1000 rupees is completed. So in this first recharge or the basic recharge plan, what they have provided. So this initial recharge, it covers all the fixed charges, demand charges and customer duties and customer charges, the true up charge, what currently we are paying and fuel and power purchase cost adjustment for the year 2018 for the year 2019 for the year 2024 all this will be included in the basic recharge this basic recharge plan will be to be selected by the customer so first recharge it has been selected as thousand rupees so for this thousand rupees he will give some sort of a number of units and will start purchasing and it will be shown like this so this many units has been consumed and this is the amount which is left in your balance okay so after thousand rupees has been exhausted from your consumption what happens is you have to the power will not be interrupted okay and as soon as this recharge is completed you will get a message the recharge has been completed and you have to start recharging so a small message also will be given to the customer so as soon as the recharge is completed the power doesn't get interrupted and you have an, a reserve fund of 300 rupees okay so reserve fund of 300 rupees will be provided by the APSP diesel and this reserve fund you can use uh, until you recharge and so this recharge will give an reserve fund of 300 for example you have been recharged for 1000 rupees you will get a reserve fund of 300 rupees as a credit limit for example you recharge for 2000 you will get an 600 rupees credit limit. This credit limit is like a reserve fund. So whenever the 1000 rupees is completed, the power get will not get disconnected. So you can use this credit limit and you can uh, continue the power. Okay. So as soon as this 1000 rupees is exhausted, you will get a message also. Your power has been, your balance has been exhausted. Now you have to perform immediate recharge. If you don't do it, the power will not discharge and it will use this credit limit. When you recharge, then automatically this credit limit will be reduce it from your original recharge okay and what are the more advantages to these discount okay smart meters are expected to bring to all the discounts okay so many of the customers the public employ i mean public or government offices are not paying the amount which makes it very tough to operate this uh, spdcl and thousands of crores of amount has been not paid okay so this will help the government so indirectly more benefits are there to the government than to the public why because there's no need of uh, having some sort of uh, employability to take continuous metering and there's no need to uh, monitor all the time all the time monitoring is made by online okay and the process of recovering the funds is very simple for the government okay so smart meters also will help the consumers to save the running cost okay how they can save the running cost is if by uh, through your app you can so if you have an app like this through this app you can disconnect your power and automatically you can save your running costs also okay so all uh, this is all will be happened in a span of uh, less than 2025 by the ending of 2025 all the houses will be installed with smart meters and this process will be taken care by the cons corresponding distribution corporation limited in their apps okay so hope you got some sort of clarity on what is the standard operating procedure. So all the standard operating procedure will be done using this process. Okay. So if you do thousand rupees recharge, you will get a three hundred rupees credit limit. Okay. So like this, see the main advantage of this method is uh, we can have an vision how many units you have been consumed till date and how much amount you have to recharge. And if the recharge is suddenly completed. The customer may struggle to overcome this only the 300 rupees credit limit is given as soon as you recharge again this 300 credit limit will be 
reduced from the original balance. Okay, so as soon as you recharge the power, it will be restored in less than 15 minutes. This is all about the smart meter seen on the Pradesh and how the number of meters is allotted to different distribution corporation limited. This is the original smart meter where I have been understood all this content. So hope you got some little bit clarity and how the billing is made and your dots have been clarified. Hope if you feel the video is good, please like the video and share with your friends and if you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section about the any building or the app updates and if you are watching the channel for the first time, subscribe to my channel with the name KB Thank you for watching, we will meet in the another video. Words from